The first battle of Inonyu took place between 6 and the 11th of January 1921 near Inonyu in Hudavandigar Vilayet during the Greco-Turkish War, also known as the Western Front of the larger Turkish War of Independence. This was the first battle for the Army of the Grand National Assembly that was newly built standing army in place of irregular troops. Chapter 1 Battle A Greek reconnaissance force under General Anastasios Papoulas began to move from their base in Bursa in the direction of Eskasehir in early January 1921. The battle began with a Greek assault on the positions of Mirali Ismet Pasha's troops near the railway station of Inonyu on January 9, 1921, and the fighting continued until dark. On January 10, the Greek Islands Division began moving along the Kovalka Akpna line, and the Izmir Division was moving on Yenikoi to Keheria direction, and additional forces were moving on Sogut Gundutsvi line. Additionally Cherkes Etam turned against the new central government in Ankara, refusing to join his forces with the regular army established under the command of Ismet in Onyu. The newly reconstituted Turkish army had to put down his rebellion while also fighting the Greeks. The better equipped Greeks taking advantage of the fog pushed back the Turks around the railroad protected by the 11. Division and took the dominant hill called Matristip where fighting continued till 2 p.m. Ferik Fivsi Chikmak, Following the recommendation of the commander of the Western Front Mirali Ismet in Onyu, gave the order to pull back to Biskadeh Dagzemtsumi A. Oklubal line and moved the headquarters to Kukarazar. After capturing the Akna Kovalka line, Greeks stopped the attack and dug in. Upon observing the Turkish positions being reinforced with the 61 Division, they realized that the Turks were determined to hold there and not fall back any further. Not feeling quite ready to withstand on the battlefield, the Greeks vacated the Inonyu vicinity and pulled back on January 11. The Turks were unable to pursue the Greeks not only because of exhaustion, and lack of supplies but also because of the need to suppress Cherkes Etam as well as the Green Army. Chapter 2 – Results Politically, the battle was significant as the arguments within the Turkish national movement were concluded in the favor of the institution of a centralized control of the army of the Grand National Assembly. As a result of his performance at Inonyu, Colonel Ismet was made a general. Also, the prestige gained in the aftermath of the battle helped the revolutionaries to announce the Turkish Constitution of 1921 on January 20, 1921. Internationally, the Turkish revolutionaries proved themselves as a military force. The prestige gained in the aftermath of the battle helped revolutionaries to initiate a new round of negotiations with Soviet Russia which ended with the Treaty of Moscow on March 16, 1921. The second round of this small-scale encounter, the Second Battle of Inonyu was to be replayed within a month in the same area, after the London Conference failed to reconcile the differences between the two sides.